I'm literally nowhere near done. Didn't finish this buyer call sheet because it was actually harder than I thought. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, July 5th, and it's about 8.47 a.m. I'm going to show you guys a day in my life of a realtor. So for all you guys curious, I know you guys love days in the life. So I already finished my morning routine, so I'm starting now. And until the end of the day, I'm going to take you guys along with me for the journey. And right now, I actually start my day off with birthday messages. And I get all these birthdays from Facebook, which is, you know, super easy. So I get them from Facebook, from my notifications. They send them out every morning. Then I go through all of them. I send them a happy birthday message, and they love this. It's perfect. Even if they don't know who I am, I still send it. And then they click on my profile. They see I'm a realtor, and they may know someone, or they may be willing to buy or sell at that moment so i'm gonna go through that go through facebook and start sending these birthday messages that's the first thing that needs to get done <laughs> so let's do it okay guys so i just finished all the birthday messages it was about 14 people so it wasn't too bad but now, usually during this time of the day, it really defers. So sometimes I'll start with prospecting and sometimes I'll hop training just because I'm still like on the onboarding process of the new company. So today I actually don't have training um, and training usually is from nine to three. So my whole day is like pretty much open, but um, I actually have homework. So I'm going to focus on prospecting after... Uh, I have a meeting at 10 after that and then I'm going to get this homework done because I have to send it over for them to review it and the homework is I have to fill out an agreement of sale, you know, put in an offer and they give us a scenario of a person, you know, what type of loan they have, the interest rate and we have to create a buyer call sheet for them so i love this that they do it uh it, it really gets you hands on and putting you in that you know position so when a buyer actually comes you're ready and you know what to do so i have to get this homework done fill out this offer send it over to the trainer let them review it and then at 10 o'clock today I have a, you know, like a role play meeting. I never really role played with another realtor. So, you know, here we go. We're going to do it today. And um, he's from Nebraska. So I'm going to role play with him, you know, for this for sale by owner script. Try to learn that a little bit more each and every day. Master these for sale by owners. And then I'll share with you guys, you know, later on in the day what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to start a new prospecting method. So stay tuned. Okay, so guys, I'm literally nowhere near done. Didn't finish this buyer call sheet because it was actually harder than I thought. This person, the scenario I'm doing it on is a first time home buyer and I'm trying to add the second mortgage, but with the um, first time home buyer program, it's, it's saying like you can, it's, I don't know. I don't even know what it's saying. So I'm going to talk to my trainer about it and see if we can go through this together and then figure that out. So <laughs> gonna take a break from that. It's actually 10 o'clock now. So I have the role play uh, meeting that I have to sign up. Gotta get on Zoom and get ready for that. All right, let me try this again, see how it goes. Okay. All right, okay. ring, ring, ring. Hello, who is this? Hey, this is Stephanie. I'm a local realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Home Sale Realty. How are you doing today? Pretty good, you? I'm doing pretty good myself. And, you know, I saw your home for sale on 123 Main Street. And I understand you're selling it on your own. Is that correct? Yeah, I am. Okay, perfect. And I just had a quick question. Are you open to working with an agent if they brought a buyer? Um, I mean, going to the numbers made sense, you know. 
Gotcha, gotcha. And is this unit occupied or vacant at the moment? Um, it is actually currently vacant. Okay. You know, and I love the area. I love your home. It seems great as well. With the market being so good right now, I'm sure you'll have no issue selling it. But by chance, it continues to stay on the market for a month or two. Would you consider working with an agent to get it sold? Um, if a month or two goes by and I can't get it sold my, you know, on my own, then absolutely I would. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, look, I'm scheduling uh, to see some homes in the area and was planning to see yours as well. Are afternoons or evening better for you? Um, at this point, evenings are probably best for me. Okay, great. And do you prefer Tuesday evenings around 2 or Thursday? Um, could we do Thursday at 2? Yeah, yeah, that would be great. And I'll send you an email right now with the details of my for sale by owner backup plan. What's the best email for you? Uh, one, two, three at, at AOL.com. Okay, got it. And when I'm at the house, I just want to explain that, uh, well, when I'm at the house, would you be off offended if I quickly uh, walk through and through how my phys for sell by owner backup plan works? Um, I'm like, that would be fine. Sure. Okay, great. Well, I look forward to seeing you Tuesday at 6. All right. All right, I'll see ya. Yeah. Well, I got to change is just... I mean, like, you have to remember the times, right? Yeah, that's the thing. But I'll probably write it down. It's just I'm not yeah, writing it down now. Yeah. I think number nine is the part where I'm like, because of offended, trying to wrap yeah, around that. Right. All right, guys. So all done with that uh, meeting. And now I'm getting ready to get changed because you got to dress to, I guess, dress to impress, they say. <laughs> but um, I got to, you know... Get changed and then I have my stuff in here for my door hangers and start going door to door so that's gonna be fun in this cold weather <laughs> alright guys so it's freezing out but I'm getting ready to go door to door and hang these door hangers up let me show you what they look like so you guys can see these are my door hangers and I gotta go hang up 50 right now and then come back for a meeting it is literally about to rain. I feel it, so I might have to put my hood up. Hopefully not. Um, let's hurry up and get this done. Guys, I'm all done. I just came inside, and I made the worst mistake of not wearing gloves. So my hands are literally all red, all numb. I came in, put some gloves on, was putting it by the fire, trying to get all warm, but my hands hurt so bad just because I haven't worn gloves. But I hit about uh, 40 homes, got it on 40 homes, and then um, there was two people that was over here, so I gave them one as well. So I got 42 people, I guess I would say, um, which is good. It was my first time, uh, and I'm going to try and do this twice a week. That's going to be, you know, my new prospecting method, see how that goes. And if it works, I'm going to, you know, double down on it and go all in even more. So I'll definitely let you guys know how that goes, but now I'm going to eat a little something and then I have a little meeting appointment with my um, trainer so he can help me go over this buyer call sheet and so I can start the offer, uh, the agreement of sell for this scenario. So I'll keep you guys updated on what's next after this appointment. Okay guys, so I already ate lunch, did everything, you know. <laughs> I just didn't film that part, but I already ate lunch and it's around 2.20 right now. I did have my appointment, well my meeting with my trainer. He went through it all. It made a lot more sense, so that is great. Um, <laughs> getting all the help I need. So I want to show you guys what I have so far. Let me show you what I finished, the buyer call sheet. For you guys don't know that, for the ones that don't know, what it's gonna look like something like this it might be different in um in your state but yeah just got this all done of the estimates like like i said it's an estimate so um your person your buyer client they may be paying more or they may be paying less so the loan not the loan the lender 
there we go <laughs> the lender should also be providing an estimate of uh, closing costs as well so you know two is better than one sorry if you guys hear the dog barking <laughs> All right guys, so I hopped into another room just so you guys don't have to hear the dogs in the background. But my day was pretty, it wasn't too busy as like my weekend in the life. But days are like completely different. One day you could be super busy um, with showings. The next day you may just have prospecting. So for you new agents out there, I want you guys to know or the ones that are inspiring to be a real estate agent that every day is not the same yes it's always good to time block and make that schedule but it's gonna be different it's gonna constantly change uh today i didn't really have any appointments yeah i had those two meetings but no buyer appointments or seller appointments but i'll let you guys know once i schedule them once i have some you know in my pipeline as well and i do have a couple of buyers i am working with um waiting for someone to get pre-approved in that process making sure everyone gets qualified on time and properly uh with the right lender because you know there's a whole bunch of online lenders that completely mess up the process so it's all about getting that right foundation and making sure you have been providing your buyer or your seller with you know all the recommendations your office allows and gives you whether that's like the home inspector the appraiser um you know all the above but i'm gonna end the video here so i hope you guys enjoyed this mini day in the life i'll plan to do more especially when i'm even more busy today was just basically prospecting in two meetings and then uh following up with my training homework and i'm still not done with that but it's a learning process. A lot of people ask me, how do you like it? It's definitely a learning process and you see a lot of growth inside yourself. So it has been amazing. I'm gonna continue to learn and grow my knowledge. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.